This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome back to the 8th episode. In today's episode, we're gonna be talk a little bit more about flickering lights and how can we create one. So to start, we will just open our map one level. So we are there and we will go to our blueprints, to our actors. And simply we are gonna create new blueprint class. It's gonna be actor and call it BP flicker flickering light. Open it up. And here we can just add component. That's gonna be our light, point light. So this is basically gonna be our flickering light. You can call it flicker light. And here from the construct. So construction means that it's gonna happen before the game starts. So it's not begin play. It's gonna happen before when we are already launching the game. We're just gonna get our flicker light and we're gonna set intensity. Here we're gonna promote it to variable, our intensity. So we can keep control of it in variables. And intensity is going to be 5000 because it's the, the default value of the flicker light, as you can see. Uh, that's good. We can compile save, go to event graph, and here we can start doing our code. So, what we want to do here is we want to get random float in range that's going to be used as our time for our retriggerable delay. So, this is going to be our duration. So basically, uh, this will uh, take the code from here. So it will delay. It's gonna trigger delay in the same duration as between. We can put one, uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.3, and it's gonna trigger 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. The f depends. It can be three times in a row. It can be 0 0.1. It's all random between those values. So random float in, uh, float in range, generate a random number between minimum and maximum. So it's pretty simple, but I want to promote it to variable and call it min time and call it max time. I, I really like to put everything in variables so nothing is hard coded. So you can always change it how you like it. We can compile and we're gonna get the same values. Make sure minimum time zero 01, max time zero 03. This is just for test, of course. You can put your values and you can uh, play with it and you can see what works best for your game. So from the retriggerable delay, I want to get uh, my flicker light. And from the flicker light, okay, what was that? <laughs> from the flicker light, we can set intensity. And also we're gonna copy it down. Uh, it goes, oh, basically it goes into flip-flop, so it's gonna trigger this delay by this amount of time, and once it's gonna be this, and second time it's gonna be this. So basically flip-flops, you know, from one to other, from one to other. So now, from the new intensity, I want to create minimum min flicker intensity and put it as a float, and then we'll compile. We're getting errors, but don't worry. We will put minimum flicker intensity, 3500, and we're gonna connect it to the first one. So it's firstly gonna be 3500, and then it's gonna be, oh yeah, we're getting errors because of this. And here it's gonna be our normal intensity, which is 5000. So this one is 3500, and this one is 5000. So you can see it's gonna change the light how it looks. But now we, we need to keep this repeating because it's gonna happen only once. So what we are gonna do is just connect set intensity to retriggerable delay and then double click control, double click control and move. So you know what's happening here. And we can just pull it like this. Compile and save. We can go in game, we didn't put our light. Go to our, your actors where we made the flicker light. And here we can test what's happening. As you can see, the light is flickering, but we can even we can make it even more flickery if we put minimum time 0.01 and max time uh, 
zero three. It all depends what you need, but the more you make it, you know, the smaller the number is, the more flicker it gets. As you can see, this is getting really flickery. So we'll put it as a zero point. Put it as a zero point zero nine max time. 0 0.07 like this. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, you see it's already better for the eye and looks pretty cool. So that's it for the fl flickering light. Uh, I hope you found what you need to make it uh, perfect lighting for your game. I think it looks really good and I'm happy with the product and uh, in the next tutorial we're gonna talk about jump scares and how we can create a jump scare uh, and I think it should be very fun because it's the one of the most satisfying things to do in horror games. You you are basically creating something to scare the other player, and you need to think what's gonna scare him. So it's a little bit of uh, playing with the player's head. But yeah, in the next tutorial we're gonna be talking about the jump scares and not only how to make one, but when to implement one and when it's good to implement one and uh, etc. I'm gonna leave it for the next video. Uh, by the way to add uh, in the my Patreon I made an update and now the second tier supporters that are VIP supporters they're gonna have access to every blueprint that I make in tutorials so if you wanna catch the blueprint screenshots make sure to support me at Patreon. That's it for today uh, have a good rest of the night and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!